Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. As most of you know, the one question I've been getting all week was, did I ever find that special valentine? Well, I'm happy to report that one of my special valentines has been located. Needless to say, she wasn't too happy to see the deputies when they arrived. She also said she didn't know she was wanted, but she did ask one question. Who is going to get her flowers and candy? Again, I want to take this time to thank all of our viewers for making this one of my most special Valentines. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Charges were issued after an altercation in Darlene's Bar near Sudlersville where Timothy Warren Wason is alleged to have pulled a knife and threatened the victim. Wason is a white male, 51 years old, 5 foot 9, about 150 pounds. He has brown hair and brown eyes. He's charged with second degree assault and reckless endangerment. His last known address is Duhamel Corner Road in Sudlersville. He works as a truck driver for a company in Rock Hall. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact local authorities. Myron Anthony Taylor is wanted after an indictment was issued on September the 19th, 2012, charging him with distribution of a controlled and dangerous substance. Taylor is 5 foot 11 inches tall, weighs about 175 pounds, is an African American male. He's now 33 years old. His last known address is 2219 Pontown Road in Chestertown. Taylor can be identified by a 7 inch cross on his left arm. Issued on August 7, 2012, the circuit court body attachment was issued for Joseph Fernando Pistorio Jr. for failing to appear at a contempt hearing. Pistorio is 6 foot 1 inches tall, weighs about 240 pounds, and is a white male. He's 36 years old, he's balding and has a tattoo on his right arm. His occupation is listed as a pizza delivery guy. His last known address was Dover and Cheswell, Delaware. Help us make his next delivery to the Queen Anne's County Detention Center. Recent captures. Your tips have been coming in and have led to two more arrests. Holly Nicole Guide. She was located in Baltimore and returned to Queen Anne's County to be served. John Gilbert Barnes was arrested for a violation of probation on a burglary charge and was taken into custody at a house near Centerville on February the 18th. After being placed on probation in 2009 for possession of marijuana, Barry Emery Williams was charged with controlled dangerous substance possession in December of 2010 and was convicted of driving without a license in 2011. In August of 2011, a bench warrant was issued charging him with another violation of probation. Williams, a Delaware resident, is a 48-year-old African-American male. He's listed as 5 foot 7 inches tall and weighs about 165 pounds. Williams is also wanted by Delaware authorities and is considered a resisting arrest risk. Jessica May Walker, She's wanted for failing to appear in court on October the 14th, 2011. She's charged with possession of a controlled and dangerous substance as well as paraphernalia. Walker is a white female. She's five foot one inches tall and weighs about 120 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes. Records indicate a tattoo on her right ankle and possibly her left arm. Her last known address was the 800 block of High Street in Chestertown, Maryland. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Ms. Walker, please contact Chestertown authorities or your sheriff. On March 1st, 2012, the Circuit Court for Queen Anne's County had planned to hold a contempt hearing for Joseph Thomas Taylor Jr. The problem is, he failed to appear as ordered and a body attachment was issued. Taylor, six foot, weighs about 240 pounds and is a white male. He's listed as having brown hair and hazel eyes. Taylor was last known to reside at 7768 Sourbacker Road in Pasadena. If you have any information on this deadbeat dad, you're urged to give us a call at 410-758-0770. And remember, your tips will remain anonymous. As always, I want to take this time to thank our viewers, our Queen Anne's County Commissioners, our QAC TV crew, and everyone who's involved. But as always, it's you, the viewer, who makes the difference in providing us with tips for our most wanted show. You're helping us out by bringing these fugitives into the justice system. Again, thanks for your tips. If you have any information about these wanted people 
or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.